video number two for the day. We're still here at the kitchen of Naomi. We have no idea who Naomi is, maybe one of the owners, I don't know. But we're drinking Earl Grey tea. Pretty good. Uh, it's a very quiet place in Serangoon. I'll just put a location somewhere. Once again, shout out to All Out for the cat. I'm joined with this guy again, Hi. Yong Tiang. And uh, this time we're actually talking about this, the bow tie spinner. By who? I should have forgot. Let's, let's see. Uh, he has a maker smoke somewhere here. Yeah. United Machining. Yeah, you can see it. This was a run of about 500. So he's number 26. Number 26 out of number 500 etched into the buttons itself. So this is the bow tie spinner by United Machining LLC. And it's a full aluminium spinner, very light. This is hard anodized in black. And I gotta tell you, it's very comfortable. Possibly the most comfortable spinner I've handled. It's more comfortable than the Troika because the Troika is thin. Yeah. So this is chunky enough. It's got a nice build where the weights are going outwards here as compared to where the bearing is. And this is a 188 bearing spinner. Buttons spin very well with the bearing itself. And you can see that there are groove marks. So it's very comfortable on your fingers as well. It doesn't slip out easily. The anodizing finish feels very nice, very, very smooth. Almost soft. Yeah, almost, almost soft, soft kind of finish. And you can see all the machining marks and they're very, very nicely done. And it's just pure comfort all over. It's small, comfortable, very good for flicking. This definitely will not cause you any discomfort if you're gonna be flicking it throughout the entire day. Just a size comparison for you. It is slightly smaller than the Hyperstone. And it is slightly bigger than the stubby so still got the curved edges on the side and this guy uses it to hold his chopsticks <laughs> I've nothing to say to that I mean EDC you know <laughs> true yeah I mean it works if you're like at a coffee shop and it's a dirty table you just put it on a table and then you can just rest your chopsticks there before you actually start eating or you can just put your chopstick halfway without it touching yeah, the plate. Without it ever touching the table at all. So you don't have to like put it on top of a bowl with your rice and everything and then we take it all it's stuck to your chopstick. Yeah. This is very light, so light to the point that it doesn't really get much wobble when you actually turn it on its axis. Interesting, very very interesting. In terms of weight, it's comparable to the Troika. I can't say for sure right now because I don't have a Troika on hand. This is very light, very comfortable, very pocketable. Does it have a pouch? Uh, no. It it have it. Yeah, it came in like uh, this cardboard box with like a few foam in there. But I, I don't mind. I mean, I bought this about three months ago. Got it for about 80 US? 80 or 90 US? Don't quote me on that, yeah. But for that money, you get this first spinner, it's quite good. I know there are cheaper spinners out there, but uh, back then, it was only this and a couple other options. I don't regret it. It's very nice for it. It's a really light spinner. It spins fast. It's fun to play with, fidget with, especially. It has a longer spin time, but it's a fidget toy. It's a fidget toy. That's yeah. right. And uh, the last I spoke to him about it, and he told me about this spinner, he mentioned that this is now his favorite spinner. Uh, he carries it on him every day, takes it everywhere he goes, the saw of my impact. I'm going to show you the buttons, okay? Yeah, sure. So, you guys already saw the buttons earlier. These are rated for 188 bearings. Then I'm going to put it onto this stubby because this is not my spinner, so I won't have access to it. Check out the buttons on the stubby because it's also a 188 bearing spinner. Fit the buttons on. I apologize for the background noise. We're not the only ones here in this cafe. It's the staff having a break and they're laughing, so... Please bear with us. Check it out. Bow tie buttons on a stubby. And it works very well. It works really, really well. Original buttons allow it to table spin, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do. They do. But this, this, there's a very nice curve. Look at the curvature underneath the meniscus that actually fits the same form and the curve on the main stubby body itself. Very cool. I like it. I like it. I like this combination. 
it's making me want to contact United Machining to sell me a set of buttons so that I can put it on the stubby. I don't think they sell the buttons in today, but I Damn think it! You can message them, see what they can do for you. This is very, very, very comfortable. Now I understand why a lot of people like the bow tie. I've seen it available in a few colors. I've seen blue. Yeah, I've blue seen... was a. Uh, I think it 10 limited run. 10? I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. There goes my dreams, man. Either 10 or 15. Yeah. But yeah, it was a limited run. But uh, I think. I think we have to wait until they either do it again. But the most numerous one are the, definitely the black ones. Yeah. Like, okay, in my opinion, it doesn't really look very nice. In my opinion, it's my personal choice, my personal taste. I think that even. As plain as the stubby is, I think the stubby looks a bit nicer than the bow tie. Just my opinion. But when I actually handled it, this thing blows a lot of spinners out of the water. It's so comfortable. Like, it's so comfortable, it's so light, and it spins really well. And uh, oh yeah, I didn't let you guys hear it. Nice sound. Now, a lot of you are going to ask the usual boring question. How long does it spin? I don't care. First of all, it's aluminium, so it's super light. The max I got was like two or three minutes. Of two to three minutes for aluminium spin is not bad, especially how light this is. Yeah, how light this is. How is it compared to stuff? It's bro, it's like it's like half the this is like twice, yeah. That's yeah, like half, half of the stuff. It's nuts. Yeah, but as a fidget toy, right? Man, it's phenomenal. It's small in form factor compared to the Troika Mini. I like the Troika. I personally like it because the Troika looks to me it looks nice you know it's a nice weight to it it's a nice handling to it it's just very thin but not uncomfortable about this but isn't actually uh, isn't something you can like uh, drop in your pocket then on the train or whatever or the tube just uh, playing with it and then people won't give you weird looks so uh, that's it for this video this was the bow tie spinner by United Machining LLC Currently, I don't know if it's available and I will try and provide links if I can, but this belongs to Yong Chiang. Once again, so big thank you to him for actually bringing this down and meeting me in the middle of nowhere on a Saturday. It's a weekend that we can actually spend doing other things, but we're here actually talking shit about crazy spinners. Alright, catch you. Bye. Okay, bye.